Uh, as we continue here on Max Preps National Signing Day presented by Old Spice, June Jones will join us to talk about the next crop of Mustangs when we come back. Welcome back, everyone. Joining us now, SMU head coach June Jones, who has rapidly started to turn things around with the Mustangs after a 1-11 season in his first year, 8-5 and five last year. Uh, coach Jones, thank you for joining us now. And uh, I guess with National Signing Day, you're getting the guys that fit into your style of play and, and fit into wins. Well, uh, we're, we're excited about the class uh, that, we, uh, that we have uh, I've been able to uh, hold on to, you know, I think in years past, uh, you know, when you're not winning, you lose some of the guys you think you're getting. And this year we we didn't lose. Uh, we we got pretty much everybody that we wanted and excited about the kids that are that, that the quality of the kids that we're, that we're getting. Coach, you've done a good job recruiting outside the state of Texas, which is, uh, I think, uh, a compliment. But tell us a little bit about Stephen Kaiser from DeSmet High School in St. Louis. Well, he's an interesting story. He, uh, you know, we were the first uh, first uh, ones to offer him a scholarship uh, back uh, when I first saw the tape. Dan Morrison, who's probably uh, my quarterback coach, looks at, uh, I don't know, over the last 10 years, I don't know how many thousands of quarterbacks we've looked at because a lot of kids want to play in our offense. And, and uh, he says, I think you need to look at this kid. And so we, we, we looked at him, and I said if I was at the Atlanta Falcons, I'd draft him in the first round off this tape. And so I, we we both just couldn't believe that nobody had offered this kid. And then we found out why. He had gone. He had transferred, uh, you know, schools after his sophomore year into his junior season. And that's when we offered him. And we were able to hold on to him. And he's, he's uh, I think he finished uh, – unbelievable with the statistics but we're excited about the type of kid he is and that he you know wants to be with us hey Jonas Philip Fulmer uh, obviously great job building uh, off of a, a, a start uh, of your first year to eight and five this year uh, I was looking at the guys that you lost it looks like you've lost a couple of uh, really uh, good cornerbacks so any of these freshmen look like they'll be able to come in and help you uh, uh, to replace those guys? Yeah, well, we lost uh, we lost a one starter in Brian McCann, who uh, uh, w was playing for us. We had a, a freshman that w w Sterling, I, I think Sterling Moore played, started for us, and was our most productive corner last year. He, in fact, he was probably the difference in, in the defense, I think. Uh, and then we had uh, a young kid, J.R. McConico, who started two games when Sterling got hurt at the end. And uh, so we have uh, two or three freshmen, incoming freshmen, and we have a couple redshirt freshmen that also. So I think we have the corner position uh, kind of healed, but we, we, do, we just covered ourselves with a J.C. guy named Richard Crawford that we think is a really good player from Mission Viejo, California. And uh, uh, so I, I feel like we're going to be okay. Coach, 30 years ago, SMU was sort of the toast of Dallas, and then they went into a tailspin after some problems, and looks like you're bringing the program back. Have you been welcomed with open arms in the Metroplex recruiting-wise? Well, I know this, that over the last uh, probably two, two years, uh, you know, I've been to a lot of schools where the coaches just looked at us and said, man, we haven't seen anybody from SMU in 25 years. So uh, they, they have, and they, they, you know, my coaches have done a great job of, of getting out and, and meeting everybody and, and cultivating all the, the, the coaches. And so, you know, it, 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 there's so many players within 350 miles of our campus that this year we didn't even – I think we had one coach go on an airplane. We, we just stayed in our cars. And even though we have, uh, you know, a couple kids from out of state, we actually recruited them on the phone and got them to come here. So it, it's been a, it, it's been interesting. We kind of – and and it's nothing new. I mean, I just kind of stole what TCU had been doing and being successful. And, and so we, we were able to win on a lot of kids around, to, around the area. And uh, June Jones now logging uh, far – Far fewer miles than uh, than his recruiting days at Hawaii, but uh, the team did end up in the Hawaii Bowl with a win against Nevada. Coach Jones, thanks for joining us here on uh, Max Preps National Signing Day, and uh, good luck this upcoming season. Uh, I appreciate it. Great talking to you.